Oliver Hudson Kelly was born in Boston, Massachusetts in 1826. The exact date of his birth is not known, but it is either January 7th or January 20th. During his early life, he moved to Chicago, where he worked at a drugstore and as a reporter for the Chicago Tribune. He then moved to Iowa, where he married Lucy Earle. He and his new bride left to find their luck in Minnesota in 1849. Kelly quickly became very involved in his local community. He joined many groups and organizations in St. Paul. Unfortunately, both his wife and daughter died in 1851. However, he married again the following year. He then focused his work on the development of Itasca. For the next two years, the small town seemed to be doing well until the town's popularity dwindled and the people moved out. Kelly then realized that his future would involve agriculture and farming. He built his farm and experimented with different crops such as buckwheat, apples, melons, and asparagus. He was known as a book farmer as he had little rural background from growing up in the city. Things were going well for Kelly until profits ran dry in the drought of 1863. He found a job as a clerk in the U.S. Department of Agriculture in 1864. As an employee of the Department of Agriculture, he made an official trip through the South and was surprised by the lack of good agricultural practices. Wanting to deal with this, he founded the National Grange of the Patrons of Husbandry. Founded in 1867, the Grange quickly spread throughout the United States. The local units were called Granges and the members were called Grangers. The Granger movement had begun, and by 1874, over 20,000 granges had been built in the Midwest and in the South. The Grange had many goals. One of its first goals was to break the tension between the Northern and Southern farmers after the Civil War. Another was to encourage families to band together in order to promote the economic and political well-being of the community. It also helped to purchase farm equipment and help the poor farmers after the Panic of 1873. Originally created for social and educational purposes, the Grange developed into a political force. The political pressures caused Granger laws to be put into effect, which gave legislative assistance to farmers. The Grange wanted to make sure railroads were charging farmers a fair price to ship their goods, as prices for shipping were steadily rising. The case Munn v. Illinois brought these gains. The Grange now started to decline. New organizations such as the Greenback Party, the Farmers Alliances, and the Populist Party all were becoming more popular. The railroads enacted the Wabash case of 1886, which severely weakened the Munn v. Illinois ruling. The Grange would later return to its social and educational events in place of politics. Oliver Hudson Kelly resigned from his position in 1878. He later died in 1913 in Washington, D.C. His creation led to great advances in the farm industry. It helped spread the demand for farm education and use of new techniques. The grain showed that farmers were capable of organizing a political agenda. The organization has been sustained to the present day.